So the takeaway from this is that side effects do happen. It's not something that you need to be scared of and most are mild. And if you do have mild side effects, it doesn't mean your immune system is not responding to the vaccine. Most ease up within 24 hours. There is no correlation between vaccines and increased allergies, increased autoimmune disease or increased autism diagnoses. Hi again, it's Dr. Emily Eichem from Rare Cancers Australia. Vaccine side effects. Well, this is an issue that's contentious, but the media has spent a lot of time focusing on it, disproportionately, I think, and it can make people very fearful about the vaccines in a world already of uncertainty and confusion. Look, side effects are something that are a potential outcome of any medication or any vaccine we take. The risk is small of serious side effects, just like the risk of being in a car accident is small, but it's ever present. And the risk of a helmet not working and the risk of floaties not working on your child in the water. Uh, many risks out there in life, but the risk of side effects, serious side effects, are much, much lower than the risk of serious illness from COVID. So that's what we need to remember in this pandemic. With the AstraZeneca vaccine, or with both vaccines, there are risks of mild side effects like a sore arm, a headache, a mild fever, some muscle aches and pains. And there are some more serious risks, as I mentioned before, but they're very, very minimal in comparison. So with the Pfizer vaccine, we can have those side effects, like I mentioned, and often they are worse with the second dose. We can also have some enlarged lymph nodes, and then there's a tiny, tiny risk of myocarditis, which is inflammation in the heart, which we've seen reports about from America where they're giving out more Pfizer. With the AstraZeneca vaccine, those mild side effects are more common with the first dose. And then of course we have this risk of TTS, which is thrombophilia with thrombocytopenia syndrome. Now that's a side effect that involves low platelets, but clotting, and we've come to recognize it better and manage and treat it better here in Australia. The risk in older age groups is only one in 100,000 with the first dose and two in 100,000 with younger age groups in the first dose. It drops to one in a million with the second dose. So it's very, very tiny in comparison to the risks of serious illness from COVID. So the takeaway from this is that side effects do happen. It's not something that you need to be scared of and most are mild. And if you do have mild side effects, it doesn't mean your immune system is not responding to the vaccine. Most ease up within 24 hours. There is no correlation between vaccines and increased allergies, increased autoimmune disease or increased autism diagnoses. If you do have mild side effects, take some painkillers. It's okay to take regular paracetamol and ibuprofen after you've had the vaccine. Best not take them before though, because you don't know if you're actually going to experience any mild side effects. So hold off till after you've had your dose. If you have had any side effects, please report them to a healthcare professional. There is a reporting system here in Australia called Ausvac Safety, and there are experts there that will investigate if your side effects are related to the vaccine or just coincidental. And if they're more serious, do tell the doctor or present to your doctor if you need medical attention. So I hope that's helpful. If you do have any questions, like I said, because this is an issue that's fraught, and people are very worried about it, understandably, because we are concerned about our health and we're concerned about what we put in our bodies. But if you do have questions or concerns, please talk to the right people, the experts, or come and ask us your questions. I'd be happy to answer them as best I can. I hope that's helpful. I'll see you next time.